And we welcome onto the show Stratford Indian head coach Tim Hester. Coach Hester, thanks for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Coach, big win tonight. Uh, tell us a little bit about the game with uh, Springfield Catholic. Yeah, uh, we started off kind of slow in the first half. Uh, uh, Catholic did a good job uh, defending some of our uh, power game, and uh, we just had to open it up uh, in the second half. And our we run a spread offense also here. So uh, uh, first half we just ran two back sets, and and uh, the kind of stuffed us a little bit there, bringing the house. And they had nine in the box, and so in the second half we just made small adjustments and. We took off from there. Coach, tell us about some of the uh, some of the players that had big nights tonight. Yeah, uh, Ryder Ross, uh, our running back, number ten, uh, did a great job. Don't have stats for you yet because I haven't done them yet, but uh, but he had a great night tonight again. And then uh, uh, we had some of our uh, one of our linemen and went out week one, so we have a couple of linemen that's really stepping it up for us. Uh, uh, Christian uh, Montagon uh, is stepping up in that position, and uh, James uh, Stafford stepping up in that position. So there's a, a lot of our lines really picking it up and uh, you know doing their job. And uh, Jordan had a good night, had an interception in the first half, uh, something uh, he's usually don't do the, the last two years, and he made some corrections and. Uh, and our coaches made some cor corrections, and we uh, came out in the second half and played a better game. Outside of uh, you know the linemen have been out uh, since week one or two, did you guys come out of tonight relatively healthy? Yes, we we everybody's healthy, and we should have some of our linemen back from week one coming back. So we should be uh, fully loaded again uh, next week. Coach, you know, making the transition, you know, with the conference having changed, what, um, you know, tell us, talk about that, and maybe some of the new opponents that you're going to have on your schedule this year. Yeah, uh, with our new conference, most of our teams that we play is, you know, bigger teams, and uh, we thought since we might be in class two, we might, you know, move up in some points if we get some wins, but we end up being class three. So, uh, so. Uh, I mean, our biggest opponents right now that looks on, on our schedule is Reed Springs and Fair Grove in, in, in our regular conference games. And uh, But uh, we got Buffalo, so we're just going to take it one game at a time. And uh, we, gotta, we can't take Buffalo lightly because uh, they, they can probably do the same thing that Catholic did. Coach, at what point, and I've asked the coaches, you know, on previous to you tonight with um, – Cody Hilburn at Seneca and, and Corey Schweiss there at Park Hill Central. Um, at what point do you maybe kind of take a peek at those district standings and hoping you can kind of line up for a, a home game or two? Yeah, that, that that's hard to, you know, you, there's, there's times I look at it, but I, sometimes I get caught up in it myself and yeah, we are looking like we're number one right now in our districts and it looks good, but I, I got to focus on one game at a time and, and uh, and just hopefully get to that point where we get it by. You know, with with Mount Vernon and St. James, uh, Salem, I think even and Cuba being in your are th these are teams that you probably haven't played. No, uh, we played. Yeah, we played Cuba before in in the playoff game. Uh, I think it was in two thousand fourteen, and then played them again in two thousand seven. Uh, so we played them before, uh, the, uh, what was the other teams you said? Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon. Uh, we have not played them before, I believe, you know, that'd be the first one. Uh, but they've been, uh, doing really good in the last couple of years. Cox has really brought those guys together and it's going to be a tough game. You bet. Well, Coach, uh, as always, uh, greatly appreciate you being generous with your time here tonight. Congratulations on the big win. Good luck next week, and hopefully we'll get to visit again. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you for, Thanks, uh, for Coach. Uh, having me on. Bye. Bye.